Now, if I was hosting a party, I would probably just throw out a few nibbles and get the cheapest bottle of wine available. But here at the Barefoot Bistro in Whistler, British Columbia, they'd throw out more than just cheese and pineapple on a stick, and clearly, they'd serve a better quality of wine. So I'm joined by Andre, who's the owner of this amazing collection. Andre, good, good evening, to see Tim. you. Good evening, Tim. Welcome to the Barefoot Bistro in the Thank cellar. Thank you for inviting me. Good man. Um, so tell me a little bit about the collection. So we have wines that I've been collecting for over 15 years, and I look for wines that are from around the world that are really hard to get or hard to acquire. And sometimes they're very old wines, sometimes they're really, really small wineries from Burgundy, Australia, France, around the world. Okay, and what are some, what are some of your uh, collections well, you've got? Well, so here? I sort of lined up a little, like, like the, some of the wines, some 55 Mouton Rothschild, some 1970 Cheval Blanc, some uh, Petrus, as you see, quite a few, 1970 Petrus. Mm -hmm. And a very old bottle, the oldest one we have here is an 1895 Madeira. Okay, and how much would a bottle of that set you back? Actually, the Madeira is like, uh, I believe, uh, $1,800. Uh, there's Petrus is 10000 but... And that's for the bottle, right? For the bottle, yes, of do, course. do you serve it by the glass? We serve, no, we don't serve it by the glass. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Now, um, um, you do a party trick as well, which you're going to teach me. I'm going to teach you how to do this party trick. It's great. And that's the reason why we bring all our clients downstairs. If we, when they order champagne, we teach them this party trick. Okay. Can so, you show me? I, absolutely. Great. Follow me. So, Andre, it says here you sabred 21 champagne bottles in one minute. Well uh, done. Thank you. But what sabering? Sabering started with the officers of Napoleon. And how that came about is that Napoleon and Jean Mouet from the Mouet et Chandon and Dom Perignon House, they went to school together at a very young age and became very, very good friends. And during the course of their life, Napoleon being in the army, he would always come and visit his good friend Jean Champagne et Pernay, and Jean went through these great dinners and great parties. After the wee hours of the morning, after copious amounts of champagne drinking, the officers start taking their swords, and they start breaking their lips off the balls of champagne. If the ball broke clean, it meant good karma. They go to war, fight, become victorious and alive. If the ball blew up, they better party, enjoy the woman, enjoy the wine, because it's their last night. Wow. And to this day, we pass on this tradition around the world, which I'll be passing on to you. A few things that are very important to know is that you need to chill a bottle of champagne for 24 hours in the fridge, and then you throw it into 10 minutes in the freezer. Or if you've got lots of ice, most people don't have that much ice, so, but you can throw it on ice. But 10 minutes in the freezer, and then you remove the wrapper. I'll give you the sword for a second. Thank well. you. Oh, that's heavy. You remove the wrapper, and then you remove the cage. If you want to beat my Guinness record, you can't remove the cage and you can't remove the wrapper. <laughs> but that's the chance of it blowing okay, up. Okay, that's a challenge. Yes. So <laughs> now we teach you the new way. And just for aesthetics, we'll put the cage on top. So you're going to grab, you're going to take your sword, and it's very gentle, like this, and it's all in the wrist. Mm -hmm. And you're going to follow through and you're going to hit the lip. And you just have to tap and it goes right through. See, like how I'm doing like this? And yeah. never lift the blade off the bottom. And follow through and hit the lip. Pop. Re Sword in hand? It's really that easy? It's really that easy, I promise. Oh no, okay, I'm under okay. pressure here now. You all see this, it's very easy. It's like this, so like that. hold it like that, yep. just like this, and you're just gonna go like, oh, that's all you have to do. Smoke. Just follow through. Okay. Hop. Are you ready? Go. Yep, go up. Okay, that's here like. we go. Hop. Hey. Oh. It's, no, it's working, you got it, it's a slow motion. Hop. Hey, voila. And that's it? That's it. I've sabered a bottle. See, now I wanna wow. take, you got one, but wait, let me show you the best trick. Okay. This is the one when you have a date. You're going to love this. Oh, wow. This is so good. So we'll put the sword out. You're going to hold the glass. I'm going to show you. you a little trick. This is the best party trick. I'll put this on here for now. So let's grab the next bottle. So. Same thing again. Same off thing, the but you see, it's very gentle. So how you do this is you use the, the glass like a pendle. So you're, you're going like this, you're going to tap like this, I'm going to say a little harder, harder, That's harder. That's not going to work. And, it, and it's going to break right off. You just go like this, but just a little harder. Make sure when you tap the glass, the glass is flat, not like this, because okay. then you'll have a chance of chipping it, so like this. And really? It doesn't matter if you break it. We'll have many glasses here, so. Oh, don't, oh no, you'll see this is real so, pressure. So, so you just go and tap it like this, and I'll tell you, and I'll say a little harder. Like, you see? Like just, that. And just slide it so it goes and tap it a little harder. Yes, a little harder, exactly like that. Hey, voila! Oh, you see? That's a great Isn't trick. it a great trick? There that's you go. Quality. So I can, voila. You can also use anything to get that you off. You can use it off, yes. I've used all kinds of things. A ski, a snowboard. <laughs> Have you ever had a disaster yourself? Actually, I've got a great picture, which is right here. Okay. Oh, that's you gone see? wrong. Oh, it's gone wrong. And the reason why is <laughs> that the bottle was too warm. And you see the top of the, the bottle is here, and yeah. actually three people got cut in this. Uh, three guests got cut. Don't make it too warm if you're going to try this at home. Please. Absolutely. Okay. And uh, we've had a great saying here at the Barefoot Bistro. Cheers. Cheers. It's good to be us. Thank you very much, Owen. Good champagne.